Oh yeah! Check this out! Clowns, give me just a second. I've got something very important to tell you guys. There's gonna be a little bit of change coming real soon. And nobody knows about it until right now you'll be the first to find out. This hasn't even hit the news wire yet. The press release does not go out until tomorrow, but you hear it first right here, right now. Memphis Wrestling is leaving CW30. On Friday night, September 1st, Memphis Wrestling will premiere on WMC Action News Plus, baby! So for those die-hard fans that grew up watching Channel 5, Memphis Wrestling is coming home! Now check this out, guys. What that means, what that means for you guys is that a whole lot more people are gonna see your crazy faces on Memphis Wrestling. All right, all right, we're live from 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is an stspod.club production. That's right. This is episode 742, episode 129 of Rolling Into Mempho. Guys, I had to open with that little bit of news about Memphis Wrestling going to WMC Channel 5. Is that awesome or what? We had a shooting star I recorded on Wednesday. That's right, Wednesday. You could have listened to it Wednesday by subscribing to Patreon unedited go to stspod.club you can listen to it right now go in the right hand corner subscribe or you can listen to the edited version coming tomorrow afternoon that's right on a sunday afternoon i don't think that's the first time we've ever done that on a sunday afternoon you can listen to the edit version about memphis wrestling going to wc WMC Channel 5, and also a bunch of other fun stuff. I want you to go to stspod.club, the right-hand corner, and join, you know, Twitter, join Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and you can PM us. If you like the Lane Dynasty shirts that Austin Lane's wearing all over social media, I have three. That's right, only three shirts left, and... All you got to do is DM me that, or you can DM me. You want to roll it into Mempo t-shirt. Go to the link of li all links there on stspod.club and join one of the social media accounts and DM me. All right, guys. Every week we do hits, misses, MVP, question of the week, what's happening, and must see. Now to the upcoming events, and then on with the show. We are Memphis Wrestling. Join us live starting next Saturday when Memphis Wrestling and the Pontotoc Run Club tag team with the WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan to fundraise for St. Jude. The Hacksaw at 4 p.m. Reserve your seat today. Saturday, August 26th, Memphis Wrestling is coming to Gleason, Tennessee for the first ever Tinker Town Throwdown benefiting Gleason High School. Sunday, August 27th, meet the real one, formerly known as Enzo Amore. Then watch AEW All In absolutely free at Dignan Busters. Monday, August 28th, join us at Ghost River on Bill Street for our official Raw pre party. It's free and family friendly. Saturday night, September 9th, Memphis Wrestling returns to the Dyer County Fair for the Bicentennial Bash. Memphis Wrestling is free with paid fair admission. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. All right, all right. Let's talk about hits, hits, hits. 
Gun Show out with Adam Gorgeous. That's right. Boom. That was a quick match, guys. Quick match. Big hit. Big hit of putting over Gun Show. I really like what they did with that. Uh, then Van Vicious comes out with uh, Jimmy Blaylock still in the wheelchair. Stay in a wheelchair, Jimmy. I love you in a wheelchair. This feud never ends. Van Vicious always challenging Brett Michaels. Brett Michaels always taking care of Van Vicious, but they're challenged again for next Saturday night. Fun stuff with Van Vicious talking about his black eye and not getting his movie roles uh, and not going on dates. Man, why are you like that gun show? Why did you do that? to Van Vicious. Next up, the Draco and G.O. Savage against the Roberts family, family legacy. Dustin dancing there. I love that stuff. Huge crowd, guys. Huge crowd busting at the seams is what I, I typed down as notes. Busting at the seams. Cordell and Aaron in the ring. Love, love this match. Love the way it was put together. Love the hot tag. Roberts, uh, Roberts, those guys so perfect for Geo, just perfect. And the big choke slam, power bomb combo. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Hit, hit, hit. Big Red came out. Guess what, guys? Big Red can cut a promo. Does that surprise you? Don't surprise me. He's a veteran of the business, and he's been cutting promos for a long time. Very well done talking about King Cobra. Up next, hit, hit. Well, yes, it was a hit, and it wasn't a hit. We got Barvis coming out. The hit part was that he blew his nose on Dustin's handkerchief. <laughs> I love that. That was funny. Very well done. Uh, Barmas, we'll talk about you uh, and the other stuff here upcoming. Um, women's title match. DDT's been part of Memphis wrestling history. And, well, Nick's took care of her real quick. Uh, boom, boom, boom. It's over. And she beat her with the ADDT. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. A little bit different DDT. Kind of what uh, John Moxley uses, but yeah, Nix is the champ. Come out and talk. They talked about her signing that contract and, uh, against Mackenzie Morgan, and she pretty much said, "I'll do it. I'll do it." Hit, hit, hit. We got Mikey returning. Yay, Mikey's back. Yep, very well done. Match with Brandon uh, Beretta. I like the guy. He's got uh, got some solid moves, still green. He needs some work. Very well done. Mikey did a promo, and, you know, I'm not sure what that was. Has, uh, has Mikey went a little? Who knows? Am I not supposed to do that now? I don't know. Uh, he acted a little crazy. Let's just say that. Listen to that uh, promo. Uh, Gaston and Matt Williams against Big Swole and Colton Cage liked this match because it was highlighting four very good talent for Memphis wrestling. Swole and Cage kind of like, you know, the Super Fires, a big team, just like uh, I always put Mike Anthony and Toomer together. I like the way they did the hot tag. It was totally different. Throwing Gaston in the ring. Very well done. Very well done. And then the main event, hit, hit, hit. Archer and Cruel against each other in the Everybody Dies match, which I thought was a casket match, but was it a casket? No, it wasn't. He pinned him on top of the casket. I, I love casket. I love this match, guys. It's slow, methodical, totally different than stuff that you see. Um, you know, even here on Memphis Wrestling, we have a faster speed style. Uh, this was slow and methodical, exactly what it should have been with two big monsters. Big, big hit with Lance Archer beating Cruel. That was our hits for week 129. All right, what's our misses? What's our misses for week 129? Here's my miss, and I said I was going to mention him here in a minute. And that was Barbus. Barbus was crying. That's a miss, guys. You know why it's a miss? Because someone should have came out there and consoled this guy. You guys, you, everybody in the dressing room should be ashamed of yourself. That's our miss for the week. Miss 129. Miss to all Memphis wrestling. Uh, even the fans. You, the fans, the wrestlers, everybody. 
somebody come out and console Barnabas. Miss for 129. What about our MVP? Our MVP of the week, man, I want to give the MVP just to the finishing move, the choke slam powerbomb combo. But I'll go ahead and Cordell and Aaron Roberts, Roberts Family Legacy, Daddy coming out there, cutting a great promo. I'm giving MVP to Roberts Family Legacy for week 129. All right, guys, look up. We're going for question of the week. See this right here? That's what you need to do. Oh, maybe over here. Is it over here? Oh, all right. The phone number, the email, send your question for question of the week. All right. Question of the week. Hey, look who I got here. Dustin. Oh, Star. yeah. Man, I got this quest of the week uh, during the week, and I knew we were going to record, so I was like, wow, you would be the perfect person to answer this. So here we go. Wrestling fan 63877 says, you always talk about new gear. When one of the wrestlers gets new stuff, you always point it out. How important is it to have the right gear on the right wrestler? How important hmm. is that? Well, first of all, it is extremely important. I mean, this dates back to beyond the mat where you see Jim Ross telling two guys that just had a tryout match that if you had this cut down a little bit more, then it would look this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 blah. So it's very, very important. But when do I ever mention – People's no, me. I, He's talking about me. I'm okay, it all right. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, Derek and Derek and Ray Ray had new gear, and then uh, Colton Cage had new gear a couple weeks back, and then it's on uh, yes. this upcoming show. And I always talk about the gear because I, you know, the announcers never say anything about it, but it's well, one of those things that I always notice. I always yes. notice. Well, that's why is we want you to notice. I notice as well, but I just don't put it over because to me, it's something that's expected for, you know, a talent to always have some new gear, especially I'll tell you, like the posse are really good at it. You can see when the posse transition from one story to the next, like right now I call it the Beetlejuice gear because they have the black and white stripes, right, or whatever. Right, right. but then the next, next story that happens, you'll probably see them wearing something different. Big John Dalton, of course, because he's such a wrestling fan and so early into his career that he can switch up like he's got a new Ingomar Falcons singlet. He's got his, you know, future Hall of Famer singlet. He's got a whole bunch of different things to where he can wear wherever he is. It's different. And it's something new all the time. So we notice it. We just don't mention it on television. We leave that to you guys to mention. Right. And then it very it, important. Uh, reminded me of something that I was watching um, uh, SummerSlam and I, I saw Finn Balor come out. He was wearing Nikes. And do you remember, you can, you can just uh, back me up on this, but do you remember when you first got in a business, if you did not have a real set of wrestling boots, you were considered either backyard or outlaw, and they didn't even want to use you on the show, right? Yeah. You know what happened? Uh, John Cena? We outnumber them. Oh. <laughs> we being the younger generation You're have right. now You're outnumbered right now. the old guys that wouldn't let us do that back in the day. Right, if I right. had an idea, like now I wear Jordans with everything, a suit, a tux, right, it don't right, matter. Right. If I'm wrestling, I wear them. That's just my, that's my deal. Had I done that back in the day, they'd say – can't do that you can't wrestle with those in there they wouldn't let you and so no, now they would not let you wrestle at all we either. outnumber them I'm ahead <laughs> it's of, our rules now right, right yeah i guess it is but i was ahead of you so when i was doing the magic thing uh early or going to shows you know i've seen them say well, where's your gear and the guy go well i got these no you're not wrestling go on, now get out. in all fairness don't just bring unless your gimmick is like trailer park trash or something don't right, bring right, some right, shoes right. that you wear out on the streets every day like i wear different shoes on the court sure, sure, for sure. the grizzlies than i do in my everyday so if you're gonna you should treat them like wrestling boots or wrestling shoes but yeah nowadays we can wear whatever we want all right, guys, thanks a lot. Right there on the screen, on the bottom of the screen, you'll see how to call or you email us and get questions. You mean you mean right week. here on the screen? On the screen right there? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> thanks, Dustin. Thanks for joining us this week. Oh, yeah.
All right, what's happening? What's happening for week 129? Big Red, he's calling out King Cobra. Are we going to see that? King Cobra says he's done. Big Red says, I don't care. Where's King Cobra? I whoop his butt. Big promo, but Big Red loved loved it. Knicks against Mackenzie Morgan. We're going to see that finally. And what's happening? What's happening with Mikey? Is Mikey going crazy? What's happening for week 129? All right, well, you're up to must-see. Must-see for week 129. Everybody dies match, guys. Cruel against Archer. Slow, methodical match. Go to YouTube at Memphis Wrestling. Go out of your way to see the must-see. The must-see for week 129. All right, guys, you know what I'm fixing to say. Same bad time, same bad channel. On the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Be there. And as everyone knows, I love my mama.